lesson i just want to uh, you know discuss certain things with you so guys i am very sure that all you people all you students have really good parents i'm really sure about it and these parents have always made sure that they give some good values to you and uh, they they would never teach something that shouldn't be taught to you people they'll always make sure that the teachings that you receive are good and the teachings make you a better human being so i have no doubts about it and i'm very sure even you people don't have any doubt about it and you know out of a lot of values that we actually gain and learn from our parents one extremely important value that i have you know always uh, remembered was that my parents always said since i was a kid never borrow and never lend okay never borrow and never lend because both these habits will land you in trouble some day right both these habits will land you in trouble so when you borrow some day you know this might become an addiction and you might lose all the things that you have including your respect and your self respect and if you keep lending and you keep lending to the wrong people once again you will be at loss and that's why this one value stayed by me and i make sure that i don't borrow things from people i try my level best okay and uh, about lending i try to lend to the right people and uh, to the ones that i know okay to the ones that i really know in and out so this story is about one girl who had this uh, had her love for materialistic things uh, the meaning of the word materialistic is luxurious things usko materialistic cheezon se bada pyar tha usko insano se pyar nahi tha usko emotions nahi the usko khali cheezon se pyar tha and this story is about the necklace and the girl herself so we will start with the lecture right now and you can have your pens and pencils ready it's a very interesting lesson you will like it so let's start mathilda was a pretty and a charming girl born as, as if by an error of fate into a family of clerks she had no means of becoming known understood loved or be wedded to an aristocrat and so she let herself by married be married to a minor official at the ministry of education so guys this story is based in the country of france wherein there's a girl called mathilda now you could pronounce this this girl's name the way you want to because it's a proper noun uh, but i pronounce her name as mathilda so mathilda is a main character of the story she was a very charming and a pretty girl okay so i want you people to note down certain things which are important about her character and her background us ladki ka background kya tha to sabse pehle she was pretty and a charming girl very beautiful but by an error of fate i want you to write the meaning for this by an error of fate by an error of fate means unfortunately or unluckily unfortunately or unluckily galti se bad luck ki wajah se she was born into a family of clerks wo ladki thi bahut beautiful but she wasn't born into a rich and a royal family she was born into a family of clerks middle class people so she had no means no means as in no ways she had no other way or option or choice of becoming known becoming famous becoming understood and loved or be wedded to an aristocrat guys the meaning of the word aristocrat an aristocrat means a royal or a wealthy person a royal or a wealthy person so guys what i want to tell you is see that's how it has always been going since ages not just in our in our country but everywhere around the world in the in the humanity in the humanitarian society itself people usually i would not say always but usually get married to the person of their own financial status okay uh so you will not see uh, you know mr ambani's daughter getting married to a normal you know a middle class boy she got married to another boy who was of who belonged to a very rich family had a huge business was a billionaire so she went to another house which was as good as her you know family's financial 
uh, 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 status was. Similarly, if you have Shahrukh Khan's daughter, she will not get married to uh, you know a uh, sport boy's son. वो भी उसी से शादी करेगी जो शाहरुख खान के ही टक्कर का या लेवल का हो. So because she belonged to the family of clerks, she had no ways to be to get married to an aristocrat, unless and until an aristocrat falls in love with her and you know gets married to her. नहीं तो कोई चांस ही नहीं था. And that is why she had to let herself get married to a minor official. Okay. Minor official at the Ministry of Education. Minor official is, uh, you know, just a little office officer kind of a person. ठीक है जिसका बहुत बड़ा post ना हो जो छोटा मोटा officer हो उससे शादी की जो कि Ministry of Education में काम करता था यानी कि जो एक government job में था. She dressed plainly. That is, she dressed very simply. Not because she loved to be simple, but because she had never been able to afford anything better. So now. Middle class people cannot afford the gowns and all those dresses which are designed by Manish Malhotra, who, if you people know, is one of the biggest fashion designers of India and of the Bollywood. Or unka ek ek kapda jo hota hai, wo crores ka aur lakhs ka hota hai, jo bahut badi badi heroines pehenti hain award functions mein. So because she was a middle class woman, she could not afford to buy anything which was better. So she was always simply dressed. She suffered endlessly. She suffered endlessly, as in she was always in pain. Not not that physical pain, but an emotional pain or a mental pain. Feeling that she was entitled to all the luxuries of the of life, she suffered because of her shabby, poorly furnished house. So, this girl, she always felt that she was entitled. What do you mean by the word entitled? The word entitled means she always deserved. Okay, she felt that she always deserved all the luxuries of life. She suffered because of her shabby, shabby, untidy, poorly. I think is a very simple uh, word. Poorly furnished house. उसका जो घर था बहुत ही अच्छे से furnished नहीं था. और उस वजह से वो बहुत ज़्यादा embarrassed रहती थी और बहुत emotional और mental pain में रहती थी. All these things that another woman of her class would not even have noticed tormented her. And made her resentful. So, guys, usually, if you ask me, then you see, I belong to a normal upbringing, and I belong to a normal middle-class family. So, if you ask me, that is it compulsory that you should have an AC at your home? So, I would say, no, not necessary because उसके बिना भी काम तो चल ही सकता है. अगर आप मुझे पूछो कि गर्मी में गीजर होना जरूरी है, तो भी हम ये बोलेंगे नहीं यार जरूरी नहीं है. गर्मी में क्या जरूरत है सो पीपल लाइक अस वी डू नॉट ऑब्जर्व सच थिंग्स एंड यू नो वी डू नॉट यू नो थिंक अबाउट यार मेरा घर फर्निश नहीं है लोग क्या कहेंगे हमारे सर पे एक छत है एंड वी आर हैप्पी बट दिस गर्ल वाज अ लिटिल डिफरेंट ठीक है बिकॉज़ शी बिलीव दैट शी डिजर्वड बेटर शी डिजर्व टू बी अ रॉयल प्रिंसेस और अ क्वीन काइंड ऑफ अ पर्सन एंड सो थिंग्स दैट अनदर वुमन ऑफ हर क्लास वुड नॉट इवन नोटिस Such things tormented her. Please write the meaning for the word tormented. The word tormented means tortured. Okay, tortured or troubled her, or annoyed her, and made her resentful. Resentful. Write the meaning. Angry and depressed. Resentful means angry and depressed. She dreamed of a grand, that is huge, palatial mansion. 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 Yes. The word palatial means like a palace. The word palatial means like a palace. वो सोचती थी कि वो डिजर्व करती है एक बड़ा सा पैलेस जैसा मैंशन मैंशन इज अ बंगलो विथ वास्ट रूम्स वास्ट इज यूज रूम्स एंड इनवाइटिंग स्मॉलर एंड इनवाइटिंग स्मॉलर रूम्स दैट इज स्मॉल गेस्ट रूम्स परफ्यूम्ड फॉर आफ्टरनून चैट्स विथ क्लोज फ्रेंड्स सो शी वॉन्टेड टू हैव अज पैलेस लाइक हाउस Wherein there would be small and short and little, uh, you know, guest rooms which are perfumed, so that in the afternoon her dear friends, her friends who were you know as rich as she was, would come home and have a chat with her. Yet she had no rich dresses, no jewels, nothing, and these were the only things she loved. We do not pronounce J E W E L S as jewels. It's jewelry and it's jewels, okay. So she had no rich dresses. She did not have those jewelries. She had nothing of that sort. Where whereas 
these were the only things that she wanted usko khane se matlab nahi tha usko ghar pe chhat hone se matlab nahi tha usko chahiye thi yahi rich cheeze yahi luxurious or materialistic cheeze she wanted so much so much to charm to be envied to be sought after and she wanted all of this not because it made her happy she wanted it to show off wo chahti thi that people envy her what is the meaning of the word envy the meaning of the word envy is to be jealous of so she wanted that people the other women around should be jealous of her usse jalne chahiye log and she wanted to be sought after the 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 idiom sought after or the phrase sought after means to be in demand or to be famous i wanted to write this sought after means to be in demand to guys ye to aap sab hum jante hi hain aap sab ne ye experience bhi kiya hoga aapke schools mein aapke buildings mein aapke friend circle mein that if there is one person who is slightly richer than all the other and usually has things that the others don't possess uska demand zyada hi rehta hai jaise ki agar aap ek group mein kisi ke paas iphone x nahi hai lekin ek insaan ke paas hai to sare ke sare uske piche pade rahenge अगर एक इंसान है जिसके पास नाइकी के स्टड्स हैं फुटबॉल वाले और बाकियों के पास नहीं है तो बाकी लोग उसको थोड़ा ज्यादा इज्जत देंगे एंड दैट इज व्हाट शी वांटेड बट गाइस लेट मी टेल यू सच अ रिस्पेक्ट इज जस्ट टेम्पररी द डे यू डोंट हैव दोज नाइकी का स्टड्स नो बडी विल कम आफ्टर यू ओके द डे यू डू नॉट हैव दोज रिचेस द डे यू डू नॉट हैव आईफोन एक्स नो बडी विल कम आफ्टर यू सो अगर आपको रिस्पेक्ट कमानी है तो वो कमानी चाहिए आपके एक्शन से अच्छे अच्छे डीड्स से ना कि इस तरीके से शी एड रिच फ्रेंड फॉर्मर स्कूल स्कूल की दोस्त और हम लोग तो आपको पता है स्कूल के फ्रेंड्स हैं तो हम लोग घर पे जाते हैं दूसरे के बट दिस गर्ल मैथिल्डा स्टॉप्ड विजिटिंग हर फ्रेंड बिकॉज जब वो अपने उसे घर जाती थी उसका घर देखती थी और फिर अपने घर आती थी तो वो सिर्फ पछतावे से और दुख से रोया करती थी वन इवनिंग हर हजबेंड केम होम विथ एन एयर ऑफ ट्राइम्फ एन एयर ऑफ ट्राइम्फ ट्राइम्फ मीन्स विक्ट्री ट्राइम्फ मीन्स विक्ट्री so he came back with a very victorious mood holding a large envelope in his hand look he said here's something for you so the husband looked really happy something and when we looked up so maybe uske andar ek bahut bada amount ka check ho sakta hai shayad promotion mila hai let us see kya hai uske andar she tore open the paper and drew out a card on which was were in, on which was printed the words the minister of education and madam Georges Ramaphanyu request the pleasure of M year means Monsieur. This is spelling French. Me English ke hisab se banta hai Monsieur, but the French pronunciation is Monsieur, which is Mister, and Madame that is Mrs. Loisel's company at the ministry on the evening of Monday, January eighteenth. So an invitation card tha from the Ministry of Education. जहां पर जिसके जो हेड थे वो थे वो थी मदाम मदाम जॉर्जिस ओके उन्होंने इनवाइट किया था मिस्टर एंड मिसेस लॉइजल सो दैट वाज माथिल्डा सर नेम लॉइजल उनको इनवाइट किया था केशन ओके ऑन द इवनिंग ऑफ मंडे जनवरी 18 तो एक इनविटेशन कार्ड था इंस्टेड ऑफ बीइंग डिलाइटेड दैट इज एक्सट्रीमली हैप्पी एज हर हस्बैंड हैड हैड होप्ड शी थ्रू द इनविटेशन on the table resentfully that is angrily and and muttered what do you want me to do with that and what do you expect me to wear if i go so her her husband expected ke jaise ye padegi ke yaar bahut badi party mein jana hai to ye bahut khush ho jayegi but instead of that usse ulta hi ho gaya she threw the invitation card on the uh, you know table out there resentfully that is angrily and she muttered she said something slowly she says what do you want me to do karu kya is envelope ko sir pe acha dalu kya bana ke uska 
and what do you expect me to wear if I go? So, this is a very uh, common kind of a dialogue that usually women use whenever they are supposed to go for a party. Ya apne ghar pe bhi dekha rahega. Shayad aap khud bhi aisa karti hongi kuch ladki hain apne ghar pe jinko kapde pehnne ka bada shauk hai achche achche. So unhone pucha main kya pehnungi? But usually agar aap dekho to ye ladkiyon ke jo cupboards hote hain pure bhare hue rehte hain. If you open the cupboard all of a sudden you might you know the entire pile of clothes might fall on you and you might die of suffocation. But phir bhi hamare pa स्टोरी so uh, you know this person says you can wear the dress that we you wear when we go to drama which tells us ke wo drama dekhne jayegi to har bar ek hi kapda pehen ke jaati thi so the husband says i think it looks nice on you he stopped stunned stunned as in shock distressed as in tensed pareshan to see his wife crying he stuttered which is another meaning for stammered what's the matter let's see mathilda how much would a suitable dress cost so mathilda ko yahi sunna tha pade ke muse चल ठीक है कोई बात नहीं सर लेट सी हाउ मच विल न्यू ड्रेस कॉस्ट शी थॉट फॉर अ मोमेंट कंपेयरिंग द कॉस्ट एंड आल्सो वंडरिंग व्हाट अमाउंट शी कुड आस्क फॉर विदाउट एन इमीडिएट रिफ्यूजल ये तो हम सब करते हैं यू टेल योर पेरेंट्स मम्मी डैडी मेरे को फोन चाहिए पेरेंट्स बोलते हैं ठीक है बेटा कौन सा वाला अगर तुम एक ऐसा फोन का नाम लेते हो जिसका कॉस्ट इज 7 टू 10000 तो शायद मिल जाता है बट इफ यू से आई वांट One plus whatever seven or if the new one is has come already, I don't know. If one plus eight has come, then whatever. If you say you want an iPhone X, then you will not get the seven thousand dollar phone. You will get the bump in the face, right? So immediate refusal. So she did not want that. So she thought, "Yeah, I will say such a thing. Just to make her happy, think at least." So she says, "At last," she answered hesitantly. Hesitantly, the meaning of the word hesitantly. is with a bit of thought with a bit a bit of thought she said i don't know exactly but i think i could do it with 400 francs so guys francs is the currency of france so bolti hai 400 franc i think should work hesitant ka matlab thoda hichkichana bhi hota hai theek hai where you are a little unsure about whether you should speak up or not that's called being hesitant he turned a little pale pale as in उसके चेहरे का रंग उड़ गया ही टर्न कलर लेस क्योंकि इतना बड़ा अमाउंट बिकॉज ही हैड बीन सेविंग दैट एग्जैक्ट अमाउंट टू बाय अ गन फॉर अ हंटिंग समर इन द कंट्री नियर नानतेर नाउ द फ्रेंच प्रोनंसिएशन इज अ लिटिल डिफरेंट सो प्लीज फॉरगिव मी फ्रेंच स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज़ आई एम एन इंग्लिश टीचर विद अ फ्यू फ्रेंड्स सो अब वो थोड़ा बेचारा डर गया कि यार 400 फ्रेंच तो मैंने जमा किए थे क्योंकि मुझे गन लेनी थी नाउ मे बी इन दोस डेज हंटिंग वाज नॉट एन इलीगल प्रोफेशन so he wanted to go with his friends near the country country as in a village near a particular place in france so he said very well i can give you 400 francs but try and get a really beautiful dress such a nice husband man so ye bande ne bola chalo theek koi baat nahi aap 400 francs le lijiye and ye lene ke baad mein aap make sure kijiye that you buy a really beautiful dress theek hai kuch bhi faltu cheez mat leke aana the day of the party Junior and Madame Loisel. Madame Loisel is Mathilda. Seemed sad, restless, anxious, though her dress was ready. मतलब यार ये बंदी के कपड़े ready हैं. उसके बाद भी this woman was sad. मतलब how dissatisfied and how greedy can a person be? Restless and anxious दोनों का मतलब होता है nervous. Okay. All right. One evening, her husband said to her, "What's the matter? You have been act- acting strange these last three days." She replied, "I am upset that I have no jewels, not a simple stone to wear. I would rather not go to the party." The husband said, "You could wear flowers." He said, "There are very, they are very, very fashionable at this time of the year, which are a paise bachane ke liye 
उसको बोल रहा है अरे फ्लावर्स पहन ले वैसे भी बहुत फैशनेबल है समर्स में लोग फ्लावर्स बहुत पहनते हैं All right, let's see what happens next. She was not convinced. तो वो convinced नहीं हुई. The next day, she went to her friend's house and told her of her distress, of her distress as in of her anxiousness or of her worries. So remember, she had a school friend. उसे घर पे भी बोला उसको बताया कि यार मेरे पास dress तो ready है but jewellery कुछ नहीं है और मेरे को इसके लिए party में नहीं जाना. Madame Forestier is the name. Madame Forestier went to her Mirrored wardrobe. Yeah, you all know what's a what a wardrobe is. She got a large box, brought it back, opened it, and said to Madame Loisel, "Choose, my dear. First, Mathilda saw some bracelets, then a pearl necklace. She tried on the jewelry in the mirror. She kept asking, 'You have nothing else?' So, Madame Forrester, बहुत ही बड़े दिल वाली She went to her wardrobe. उसने कुछ boxes निकाले जो बहुत सारी jewellery पड़ी थी. उसके सामने रखा. उसको बोला ले ले जो भी देखो चाहिए. Of course, हमेशा के लिए नहीं. You can wear it for the party and then give it back. So Mathilda tried certain bracelets. You all know what a bracelet is. Then a pearl necklace. Then Motiyo ka necklace. She tried some jewellery and she kept asking कुछ और नहीं है क्या मतलब उसका पेड़ नहीं भर रहा है इसमें भी. And so she kept asking, Don't you have something else? Why? Yes, but I don't know what you like. she says yeah i have a lot of stuff but i don't know what you like suddenly she discovered in a black satin box a superb diamond necklace and her heart began to beat with uncontrolled desire usne ek diamond ka necklace dekha aur wo necklace dekhne ke baad uska dil dhadakna shuru ho gaya tezi se her hands trembled trembled matlab shivered trembled shivered her hands trembled as she took it she fastened it fastened it as in tied it she tied it around her neck and stood lost in ecstasy as she looked at herself ecstasy means extreme joy and happiness ecstasy means extreme joy and happiness as she looked at herself then she asked anxiously hesitating anxiously as in nervously hesitating also means nervously would you lend me this just this lend means to give so she asked her friend would you give this to me just this or kuch nahi chahiye khali ye de why yes of course so that's what the friend said zaroor zaroor lekar jao she threw her arms around her friends neck which means she hugged her friend rapturously rapturously have the meaning with great joy the meaning is given on the left hand side you can see with great joy badi khushi se gale lagi and then fled with her treasure fled as in ran at a good speed flew away with her treasure the day of the party arrived madam loisel was a success party ka din aaya madam loisel gayi आप तो पहले से जानते थे शी वॉज ऑलवेज ब्यूटीफुल पहले से ही ब्यूटीफुल थी उसमें अच्छा कपड़ा पहना था और अच्छा नेकलेस था सो शी वॉज अ सक्सेस शी वॉज प्रिटियर देन ऑल दी अदर वीमेन एलिगेंट ग्रेशियस स्माइलिंग एंड फुल ऑफ जॉय एलिगेंट एंड ग्रेशियस बोथ मीन ब्यूटिफुल एंड रॉयल शी लुक ब्यूटिफुल एंड रॉयल शी वॉज स्माइलिंग एंड शी वॉज फुल ऑफ जॉय शी डांस वाइल्डली वाइल्डली एज इन जैसे हम नाचते ना गणपति ऐसे उसने नाचना शुरू किया आउट ऑफ जॉय ऑल राइट शी डांस वाइल्डली विथ पैशन विथ पैशन एज इन विथ एक्सट्रीम हैप्पीनेस फॉर गेटिंग एवरीथिंग द ट्राइम्फ ऑफ अर ब्यूटी ट्राइम्फ एज इन विक्ट्री विक्ट्री ऑफ अर ब्यूटी अपने खूबसूरती की जीत में बड़ा जोर से नाची एंड सक्सेस फ्लोटिंग इन द क्लाउड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस इट वॉज एज इफ Floating in the cloud of happiness. बोलते हैं ना, I uh, I am on cloud nine. मतलब मैं बहुत ज़्यादा खुश हूँ. Mathilde and her husband left at about four o'clock in the morning. When they were finally in the street, they could not find a cab. They walked down towards the the scene or however you pronounce it in French, till they found one. They were dropped off at their door. 
in the rue des martyrs and sadly it was all over for her to lo ye jagah pahunche jahan kabli and finally it was all over ki jo sapna jo wo jee rahi thi wo khatam ho gaya tha ab it has been he been paigi aur na hi wo necklace pen paigi usko wapas dena padega in front of the mirror she took a final look at herself in all her glory but suddenly she uttered a cry she no longer had the necklace round her neck what is the matter as her husband she turned towards him panic stricken panic stricken means scared with a sudden feeling of fear i have i have i no longer have madam forester's necklace necklace gayab ho gaya mere gale mein nahi hai he stood up distraught distraught means worried and disturbed what how that's impossible and that's where students we stop the story for the day we'll do the rest of the story in the next part the next lecture i want you to do certain activities as you can see on the screen in the english workshop page activity 1 page number 21 activity 1 which is who said to whom ye aapne karna hai you can do it in a notebook because you don't have place here then i want you to do activity number 2 few lines about mathilda and the dreams that she had about herself okay then i want you to do uh all right right that's it that's it that's all i wanted to do i just wanted to do activity 1 and activity 2 i will put my screen off and you can ask me some ask me some doubts if you have i hope the doubts are legitimate and then we check so what is the meaning of distraught distraught means worry and worry 